What's up, this is Naked Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer. In today's episode of Breaking Halo 4, we'll be breaking down specializations, focusing specifically on rank unlockables and the specifics of the armor mods. Hopefully this video will allow you to make more informed decisions about which specialization to choose next and understand their powerful armor mods at a much deeper level. All right, so each of the eight specialization classes permanently unlocks different armor, armor skins, weapon skins, visor colors, foreground emblems, background emblems, and armor mods for your Spartan 4. Here you can see the emblems unlocked for every specialization. As for the other goodies, a typical unlock sequence would be chest and shoulders at the third rank, helmet at the fourth, emblem and weapon skin at the fifth, visor color at the sixth, chest skin at the seventh, shoulder skin at the eighth, helmet skin at the ninth, and armor mod always at the tenth rank where you then choose another specialization. You access specializations, of course, when you reach SR50. This data, if you do the math, shows us that exactly 338,400 XP is required per 10 specialization ranks, which equates to roughly 100 matches of war games per specialization. This graph shows how each class requires the same amount of XP regardless of the order in which you choose them. And this graph shows the same data with total XP on the y-axis, ending at roughly 3.6 million XP total to complete every specialization in the game and hit max rank. Now let's get into the specifics of each specialization's armor mod, and I'll mention which weapon skins you unlock as well since that data isn't described in-game. The Wetwork specialization gives you a DMR weapon skin and the Stealth Support upgrade. Stealth is incredibly useful, it makes you invisible to Promethean Vision, eliminates the audio your footsteps make, and decreases your time in animated assassinations. I highly recommend this ability if your opponent is using Promethean Vision. Next we have the Pioneer specialization which unlocks the Plasma Pistol Weapon Skin and Fast Track Tactical Package, which increases the amount of XP you earn each match by roughly 20%. That's about 500 extra XP per game, so definitely use this if you want to rank up faster. The Engineer specialization unlocks the Suppressor Weapon Skin and Drop Recon Support Upgrade, which allows you to see Global Ordnance roughly 12 seconds before everyone else. Considering that Global Ordnance comes at random intervals mid-game every 120 to 320 seconds and usually drops incredibly powerful weapons, this could be very viable mid-game every couple minutes. Just be sure to replace it between drops so you aren't wasting your slot. Next up is the Tracker Specialization, which unlocks the Bolt Shot Weapon Skin and Requisition Tactical Package. Requisition allows you to re-roll your ordnance by pressing up on the D-pad. This greatly increases your chances for getting rare, powerful weapon drops. However, note that each roll is completely random, and you sometimes end up with exactly what you started with, although that is a statistical rarity. Moving on to the Rogue Specialization, Rogue unlocks the Carbine Weapon Skin and Stability Support Upgrade. Stability decreases your flinch by 50%, making your shot much more accurate when you're under fire from all directions. Definitely consider this for your support upgrade slot on long range maps with lots of rifle battles. Now we have the Stalker Specialization, which unlocks the Battle Rifle Weapon Skin and Nemesis Support Upgrade. This ability puts a waypoint over the enemy who killed you for 5 seconds after you respawn, allowing you to stalk them briefly. Unfortunately, this isn't useful in most scenarios because of the short amount of time that this ability functions. Taking a look at the Pathfinder Specialization, it unlocks the Assault Rifle Weapon Skin and Gunner Support Upgrade. Gunner is a fantastic ability for turret users in BTB, as it increases the time it takes to overheat turrets by 50% on every type of turret, stationary, detached, and vehicle turrets like the Mantis and Warthog. Gunner also allows players carrying detached turrets to move at non-carry speed, essentially normal speed without sprint. Finally, the Operator Specialization unlocks the Magnum Weapon Skin and Wheelman Tactical Package. Wheelman is also incredibly useful in BTB as it decreases the time your vehicle is EMP stunned by 50%, increases the health of your vehicles such that Banshees can take two rockets to kill instead of one, and vehicles recover HP to their nearest damage tier 100% faster. 
So that's all the details on all the specializations. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and the community and I will do our best to answer them. Good luck ranking up and I'll make a video soon about my new loadout recommendations after earning all specialization armor mods. If you'd like to see my previous Breaking Halo 4 on Promethean Vision Stealth and Camo, then click on the video on the left. And if you want to see the episode on Personal Ordnance Drops, click on the video on the right. Subscribe for more. This is Naked Eli. Thanks for watching.